Hey guys, welcome to another video. This one will be dealing with tracing images that have too much texture in them and removing background noise and taking out that texture. Now if you don't have a Photoshop program, I always recommend PicMonkey.com and I will do this on there, that way you know what to hit. It's a free online editing system. Um, they do charge for some things, but that is an upgrade that you pay for and the stuff that we need to do doesn't charge anything. So you want to go ahead and load your picture up on PicMonkey. I like to hit auto adjust just to get some of the lighting. You want to go over here to effects and then you want to go down to <clears throat> black and white and hit apply. Then you want to go down to draw and this is what will take this background noise out. When we trace this image, we only want the two people up front. We don't want the restaurant that they're in or the food here because that's going to, one, take up too much for the system and it's going to not respond and freeze up on you. Two, we want the main focus of this gift to be the couple in the front here. So when you go to draw, you already have it on white. You want to take your hardness and drop it down so it's not white white and making bold lines on there for you and then you can move your brush size to small or large whatever you need now we do have a lot of space up at the top so we will make our brush a little bigger and go ahead and start cleaning that up now I like to do it in sections where I take my finger off the mouse and let it go so that if I do one of those I can hit undo and I won't have to do the entire thing all over again Oh, once you get closer to the couple, you will want to change your brush size. That way you can get nice and close. And just keep going smaller and smaller as you get into closer to them. Once you've got it all set, and I've already saved one, so I'm just going to fast forward through here. Hit apply. Go back to your basic edits and hit exposure. You want to play with your brightness, your highlights, your shadows, and your contrast to darken the photo up a little bit and make it a little easier for the system to see once we go to trace it. Once you're happy with it, hit apply and save it. I'm gonna go ahead and take the trace and put it in my DE program and if you can hear my kids I'm sorry they're just excited for St. Patrick's Day and getting cupcakes. So go ahead and hit select trace area and highlight your image. I always take the first image, go ahead and hit trace. I like to fill mine with color so it's easier to see as well. <clears throat> and I just put that one to the side. Hit select trace area again, highlight your image, and this time unclick high pass filter. Click on low pass filter and drop it down to 0.25. Hit scale and go down to between 4 and 8. Doesn't matter where you go, all of them usually work. And now play with your threshold. Anything that's yellow will be vinyl that stays down. Anything that you don't see yellow would be weeded out. So you want to try to get things like eyes, mouth, hair. You want those things in and that makes for a better trace. Once you're happy with it, you go ahead and hit trace again move the original photo and again I like to put mine in color so I can clearly see now take your first image and overlay it on your second image zoom in right into the eye of one of the people in your image and line up the eye holes so it's a little easier to see now at this step I would also suggest taking out a lot of the little spots on here. You're going to probably lose those anyway when you go to weed, so might as well just take them out. Also save right now as well because if you do have a lot of texture like in his shirt, the next step will freeze it. I'm not going to do the next step fully. I'll tell you what you're supposed to do. So you'll highlight both images. You're going to right click and hit weld and that'll put both pieces together. If there's any loose pieces, like any pieces in the face that you have not removed yet, um, and they come up after that, you'll highlight the image again, right click and hit make compound path, and that'll make everything one image. 
Now, as you can see, his shirt is probably going to be a nightmare to weed. Um, your machine's going to probably eat up the vinyl having to do all these little cuts in this area. So what we want to do is take out this texture. We'll put that one to the side so I can show you what I mean. Go back to your picture in Pick Monkey and go back to Draw. This time, drop your color to black. Again, change your hardness so it's not so bold. And go ahead and mess with your brush size, whatever size you need. And again, just like before with the white, you want to get in as close as you can and use different brush sizes when you need to. And then hit Apply, Save It. And I've already got one saved, so oops, we didn't weld that. So we'll go ahead and bring that one in. We'll have to change the size again because it's large. And zoom in over here so we can see. Now go ahead and select trace area again. And take your first trace. Fill it with color so we can see. Select trace area again, and this time unclick high pass filter, click on low pass, drop to 0.25, drop your scale, and mess with your threshold. Now, anything that's yellow will be vinyl that stays. Don't forget that. So we want to make sure that we have all this in yellow, but some of the face not so yellow so that we can tell who they are. Now, because remember, we have this piece over here. Hit trace when you're happy with what it looks like. And again, fill with color. And then do your overlay. And back, zoom into the eye again. Line it up. Perfect. Zoom out. Highlight both. Right click. Weld. It's thinking there's too much going on. And this will happen with a lot of pictures that you have like this because it's, the system is just overloaded trying to put everything together. Now see what I was saying about his face where there's a lot of that didn't weld because it had nothing to weld to? You can go in and take all those out if you wanted to. And if you don't, just highlight everything so you have it all there. Right click and make compound path. Now see a couple little bits came off right there, but that's totally fine. We don't need them anyway. Now you can see, let me get these other two. I should have grouped them. My system's not happy with me, sorry. But as you can see, there's a big difference between the two images. And your Cameo will be happy with you as well because it won't have to cut all of this texture in his shirt anymore. It's just going to cut the one piece. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If the video was helpful, please hit the like button and I will continue to do videos like this to help you uh, get the best out of your system. And as always, thanks for watching.